All right, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. I'm out here on the water on the boat. I got a new fishing rod and I wanted to show you guys. Let's check it out. Let's dip off into the rod locker real quick, man. What do we got? What do we got down here? New juice. Let's see if I can pull this out of here without hurting anything. No rod sock. Oh, there she is. There's that new pepper. Let's see, what do we go with? Another fury. Right. As you guys can see there, we went with the Dobbins Fury 733C to go along with my 734C down there. I'm going to throw a Shimano Corrado DC on here and a Fluke, and I'm going to see how I like it for fluking. That's the plan for today. We're going to be out here testing this new Dobbins rod. It's brand new, still got the tag on it. Feels nice. Love my other Fury so much, I wanted to grab another one to uh, be able to fish some different type of baits. A little bit lighter action, some medium heavy. I got a heavy. Let's check it out, man. Let's see how we like it. So here's the plan. You guys can see my, uh, my old Dobbins here. 734C. This is the 733. I'm gonna take this setup and move it over here to this rod and see how we like fluking on the medium heavy instead of the heavy. And then we'll just go from there, man. Figure out what to put on here next. And yeah, it should be fun, man. But what I'm gonna do right now is just move this reel over to this new rod. 733, let's get it. And there she is, guys, the new Dobbin 733C. This is a seven foot, three inch, medium heavy, three power rod. For you guys new to the Dobbins brand, the first two numbers of the length, the third number is the power. So it's a seven, three, three. Seven foot, three inch, three power. There you go. C meaning it's a casting rod. So FR for Fury, 733 for the length and power. New Dobbins Fury fluking rod. All right, enough talk. Let's get after it. Let's go fish. So obviously, the idea here is going to be do we like this rod better for fluking than the 734? And that's what we're going to try to find out today. So let's get it, man. First cast with the new Dobbins Fury 733. Into the wind. I don't know about that, man. Casting into the wind, first cast. Okay, let's go. Nice. She sent it. Even into the wind, she sent it. Feels good. Feels good already. Really, it all comes down to the action that the, that the, the rod gives the bait in the water. From what I saw right there, she looks good. Casting pretty 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 nicely into the wind yeah i think this is gonna be a little easier on the wrist feels good so far guys Let's see if we can get a fish on it yeah i'm really loving the way it's twitching the fluke through the water I'm not gonna lie it's nice Just pulled up to the next spot. I'm gonna try to fish this bluff wall. A little bit deeper water access right here. Main lake body, creek arm opening. I'm gonna start at this point, work my way down this bluff wall. I see another boat down there fishing. I'll try to leave those guys alone, but let's see what's up, man. This is a really beautiful spot to fish, if nothing else. Let's get over here around these docks, see if we can find some hungry eaters, man. Sign. A little, little dude over there blowing up. Let's cast over there and see what happens. Perfect. Perfect cast with the new. And there's a fish. Called it. I knew he was over there. Oh, and he came off. Dang. Felt like a good hook set. That would have been the first fish. He hit it as soon as it hit the water, too. He came up and smashed that disco green. Let's see if he's got a friend. Probably not going to eat it again. He was halfway to the boat. 
first bite of the day right there on the fluke up around this dock right here as soon as I pulled up second cast it's a little shad in the water right there that that fish spit up I can see shows me what they're eating it looks just like the fluke I'm throwing so I'm gonna keep rolling with this yeah she casts nice I'm over here out of the wind where I can just really do some unrestricted casting I'm just throwing a weightless fluke 50 pound braid to a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader a 4 aught gamakatsu EWG hook and one zoom softy super fluke there's no weight on here guys it's just a hook and a bait and that's how we like to throw it so come on man come on little fish man that wasn't what we were looking for miss that little guy let's get back on the main motor and go somewhere Guys, we're idling up to the next spot right now. We've been fishing with a fluke for a while. We've got that one little guy that came off there about halfway to the boat, but that's been it this morning. I'm gonna fish this bluff wall, and then I'm gonna hit this marina and try some drop shotting again, see if we can hook into another big one over here under this marina. But uh, yeah, man, let's, uh, let's hit this bluff wall real quick with the fluke and see what's up, man. Try to get one on the 733 before we call it quits. I'm not gonna lie though, these slips over here are tempting. I got some new drop shotting gear I wanna try out and uh, yeah, I might just pull up in one of these slips and try real quick before we hit this wall. This wall will be here all day, man. So will the slips, but like I said, man, I kind of want to get down there and see if there's anybody hanging out under this marina, man. Let's try that first. Ch quick change of plans. We're going to hit the marina, and then we'll hit this bluff wall with the fluke. I'm not going to spend too much time doing each technique. I don't want to waste a lot of time out here. It's going to get hot quick, but yeah, that's what we're doing. It's rolling up here to this uh, marina right now. guys i tried drop shotting for a few no luck saw one little bass up there under the dock but he wasn't reacting at all so pulling up to the bluff wall now i'm gonna try to work the fluke all up and down here maybe throw a frog a little bit see if we can get somebody to eat along this edge a lot of cover a lot of access to deeper water right here plus the marina so i figure this might be a good place to start i'm gonna give it a shot maybe we can get one in the boat before this thing is over fish on the new Dobbins Fury 733C. Fishing a weightless fluke up here, right along this bank. Big drop off. This dude came up and smashed it. I wasn't wearing the uh, the chest rig there, but you guys got to see it from the dash cam over here on the boat. Awesome, man. There's the first official fish, the Dobbins 733. Stoked to get this one, man. That's the first fish on the day. I've been out here for hours, man. Let's get it. That one right there, we're gonna have to say one fish makes a video in this one at least, man. Maybe we can get a couple more, but pretty stoked on that one, man. All right, buddy, you ready to go back? Okay guys, as you can see, I'm pulled up into this little cut here. I got the Ultrex spot locked and I'm just chilling up here in this little cove. Unfortunately, just not seeing a lot of action out here today. I thought it might be like this. The fishing has been tough on the lake lately and I've been hearing that from other fishermen here in the area. I'm not the only one out here grinding, having a tough time catching fish. So it is what it is. But to make up for the lack of fish catches in this video, I wanted to do something while we were out here. While I was at Dick's picking up that new Dobbins Fury 733, you know I had to grab a couple baits as well. So I figured while we're out here on the boat, we'll do a little tackle unboxing for you guys. I'll show you guys a couple of baits that I picked up and uh, just show you some of the stuff that I plan on throwing for the rest of the summer. 
let's get right into it, man. I'll try to go from like least fun to most fun, if that makes sense. Least fun being terminal tackle, right? Terminal tackle. I got some, uh, let me see, what all did I get? Looks like I've already lost some stuff. Am I losing stuff? Mm -hmm. I've already lost stuff. All right, so I got some drop shot weights and some drop shot hooks. These are owner mosquito number twos and then some little one eighth ounce drop shot weights. Probably won't be buying many more of these as my friend Tyler hooked me up recently. He makes his own drop shot weights, gets the lead from his grandfather and then uh, pours up the weights himself, makes them himself for super cheap and offered to hook me up. So probably won't have to be buying too many more of these in the future. And there's a look at those drop shot hooks. Number two, owner mosquitoes, terminal tackle. Not as fun as the rest of the stuff we got. Oh, you guys can hear those. You guys can hear what that is probably. Next up, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Next up, I grabbed some Kitech Easy Shiners. Just some smaller profile, three inch shad style baits. Maybe a uh, nose hook them for drop shotting or throw them on a lead head. I don't know. Just wanted some smaller profile uh, paddle tail shad style baits. So I grabbed a couple packs of those. This color here, Small Mouth Magic. I've had luck with this color out here on this lake in the past. Electric blue and chartreuse. It's a little brighter color, a little louder profile. But yeah, I figured it couldn't hurt to have some smaller profile Kitex on deck. So I snagged these. Next up, I grabbed a couple jigs. So I got hung up and broke off my 3 8 ounce swim jig last time I was out here. So I picked up a replacement. You guys already know, Strike King swim jigs. I throw these a lot. I lose these a lot. I always keep the quarter ounce and the 3 8 on deck depending on what depth I'm fishing. The 3 8 ounce will get you down there a little bit deeper. Some of those bigger fish sitting down there closer towards the bottom. And then the quarter ounce is generally what I'll throw just for throwing up shallow, working back into uh, deeper water. Quarter ounce, 3 8 ounce, always gotta have both of those sizes on deck. I keep them around all the time. Next up, this is a new jig. It's called a Bitsy Flip. It's a mini flipping jig, little half ounce. Wanted to grab one of these to try. A little natural color, just like brown and green pumpkin. And yeah, it's just a little mini flipping head on there small profile probably do good out here on lake travis so i went ahead and grabbed it, it caught my eye for three dollars hard to beat man so there's the jigs out of the way next up getting back to drop shotting got some of these red bug worms man these are zoom finesse worms red bug shad color check that out man just a little finesse worm nose hook that bad boy drop shot it it's supposed to be the juice so i never fished uh, with these on a drop shot before but Oh, heard somebody busting somewhere. Anyways, never fished with these on a drop shot before. Looking forward to trying them out when the bite gets finicky over by some of those marinas. When the shad are gone and the fish are looking for uh, something different to eat, probably throw one of these on, give it a try. Zoom, finesse worm, and red bug shad. Next up, sticking with the summertime motif. Got some frogs here. If you guys missed my frog versus fluke challenge video, make sure you go back through the playlist here on YouTube and check that video out. I'll throw a link up here and try to make it as easy as possible for you guys to find. There will also be a link down below in the description of that video if you're interested in seeing that. But I grabbed a couple more frogs, man. I tried the Lunker Hunt frogs and um, not calling anybody out, I'm not talking trash, just my opinion. Wasn't really, uh, wasn't really my flavor. So I picked up a couple more brands. I got the Z-Man Leap Frogs. This is a hollow body frog. It's a walking frog, two and a quarter inch walking frog, black and yellow. There's a look at that guy. And I've actually fished with the S-Pro or the Spro, I don't know, S-Pro, Spro, whatever. Um, I've fished with these frogs before. This is good stuff right here. So I got a black one. I've been wanting to try an all black frog for a while now. So now I'll pick this one up. I'm gonna throw an all black frog sometime soon. See if we can get on some more top water blow ups out here during the summer on Lake Travis. We had a couple blow ups in that frog versus fluke video. So make sure you guys go check that out and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing me fish these frogs in the future. We'll be throwing these, best believe. Last but not least, I snagged some more rattle traps, man. I've been collecting these. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, here recently, I've been catching a few fish on a rattle trap and it's just super addicting. For whatever reason, I love it. So I'm looking forward to throwing more rattle traps this summer in the fall and on into next winter and spring and whenever. Whenever I can throw one of these, man, you never know, man. Slow rolling a rattle trap, fast rolling it. These things make noise, they get bit. So I grab some more. Let's check it out, man. Here's the colors that I got. This is one of the ones that I lost, the sunrise perch color. You guys already know, we were out here lighting them up on this color recently. So I snagged another one of those. Also got one of these, the classic silver and blue. Chrome, blue, back. That's what it says, chrome, blue, back. This is a classic Bill Lewis rattle trap color. Had to have it on deck. 
There it is, man. That's the half ounce version. Another half ouncer. This is a newer color, I think, or one that I hadn't seen before. It's called Sexy Prism. You guys can see it's sort of like a silver and blue with chartreuse, red eye shad color. Really gnarly. That signature Bill Lewis rattle. Mustad hooks, half ounce, three inch. There we go. I also grabbed two, two and a half inch, quarter ounce rattle traps. Check these out. Diamond dust, chrome blue back, boom. These are gonna do good, man. A couple smaller profile baits for those finicky fish that don't wanna eat a bigger bait. I'm looking forward to throwing these, man. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, we'll be throwing all these baits here on this channel soon. First impressions of the Dobbins Fury 733C. I'm loving it, man. It's been really nice fishing with that rod all day. I've been out here working the fluke for hours. No issue, man. Sometimes the heavier action rods can, uh, they'll wear your wrist out, man. You'll get tired quick after five, six hours of fluking. You'll be like, dang, dude, I'm, I'm tired of doing this, man. It feels, it starts feeling like you're, uh, carrying a broomstick around, but I think that medium heavy is going to be perfect. It even says fluke on the rod, which is one of the reasons why I grabbed it. I got my eyes on another Dobbins Fury in the future. I'm going to try to finish out the line out and get the 705 CB crankbait rod soon for these right here specifically designed to throw baits like this right here, the rattle trap, crankbaits, stuff like that. And then we'll pretty much have a, a nice solid lineup of Dobbins Fury rods here on the boat. Looking forward to that. We got two, looking to add another one soon. And yeah, we're just gonna keep rocking and rolling, man. I really love these Dobbins Fury rods. A lot of you guys out there came to the channel looking for Dobbins Fury 734 reviews. I know a lot of you guys found my channel from the Dobbins Fury rod and me doing videos on my 734C. So I plan on doing more videos in the future comparing Dobbins rods to other brands that I own, how they fish compared to some of the other similarly priced rods that are on the market right now. I would say that if you're in the market for a new bass rod and you're in that $100 to $150 price range, if that's your budget, seriously consider looking at the Dobbins Fury line. Uh, I believe in them. I think they are very nice rods compared to some of the other stuff in that same price range. If you're out there shopping around, look into it. Pick one up see what you think, man. Let me know. But uh, yeah, man, that's probably going to do it for this one, man. It is what it is, man. Summertime grind continues. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if you want to see me throwing all these baits in the future. I'll be posting more about the Dobbin 733C, let you guys know more about how that rod's working out for me. And as always, there will be more fishing content coming very soon right here on this channel. So like I said, man, go down below, sub the channel, help us grow this thing to 10K. Click that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment if you have anything to add. I love interacting with you guys down there in the comment section. It's one of my favorite things to do here on YouTube. Other than that, man, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys on the next video.